I met Dr. Keenan by accident. Um, he's a very unusual person, smart, mm -hmm. educated, patient, and he works for General Hospital, so I figured, what the hell, I'll give it a try. Before or after the shooting in the, in the garage? After. All right, look, some of this is my fault because, you know, I told you that we'd be okay, and five minutes later I'm in court, you know, being charged with an accident that killed two people. I didn't go running for help, Sonny. I was looking for someone, and when I met him, it just seemed like the logical thing Wait, to do. Come here, to come here. Help me. Oh, I, no, just, just look me in the eye and tell me that what happened last week does not make you think twice. You told me you're innocent. Maybe, maybe it, it's hard for you to believe that. This isn't about you, okay. Sonny. I'm gonna say it again. Ugh. I'm gonna say it again. I I had nothing to do with that accident. Now, however that gun wound up in your office, wasn't my Don't gun. Don't you think I know that? I believe you, and that is why I'm seeing Dr. Keenan. Okay, I gotta tell you, this trial's not gonna be easy. You're gonna drag me through the mud. You with me? I know that. I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Look, I get this whole psychiatry thing. I mean, you all right? Look, it's like this. You can tell a psychiatrist what you can't tell other people, right? Mm -hmm. I, I understand, but I, there's nothing that you can tell me that will change how I feel about you. I know that. I'm sorry. It's all right. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kate, these are the things that don't add up because you, you you say you believe me, right? That the gun that Dante found in your office wasn't mine, but now you're not going to turn around and talk to me? Okay, I understand that you're seeing a shrink and the whole thing, and that's fine because it's easier to talk to a psychiatrist, but you got to be able to talk to me too. Otherwise, what do we got? Kate! Like Kate to you. What's with the new look? Do you like it? Well, yeah, I mean, it looks sexy as hell. Oh, thank you. It's working for you, though? Okay, hold, hold on. No, 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 no. Uh? No, no, because listen, we're not done talking about what we're talking I don't want to talk. About. I want to do so many other things right now besides talking. Listen, okay. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, look, look, look. If if sex solved all our problems, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be, you know, going to see a psychiatrist. Oh, are you jealous? Huh? Are you jealous of my psychiatrist? Oh, no, I mean, shouldn't I be? You, you go see a psychiatrist, you're dressing different, you're acting different, your lipstick is different. Are you complaining? You're in the week. No, I'm not complaining. It's just, it's, it's just... Not Kate Howard, you understand? Kate Howard isn't here right now. I am. Uh. I thought you weren't into this. What? The role-playing stuff. Because in Chicago, you bit my head off oh. when I brought it up. I reevaluated. 
Come on, Sonny. I just, I just want to take your mind off of all this stuff. Okay? Yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, hold, hold on. Relax for one second. Okay? I just want you to know that I... I'm in love with Kate Howard, so if you, you you don't have to be somebody else. I am not Kate Howard. I am tonight Carmen. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. What is, what is going on right now? I mean, you're Carmen. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Bien. No, actually, one of the models couldn't make the fitting. Well, she could, but Carmen wouldn't get out of bed for less than ten grand, so... So we're standing in for it. That's right. So what do you think? Is this a good look for the cover? Hmm? You're sexy. I told you that already. You're Stop. sexy as hell, but you kind of remind me of how you used to look back in high school. I never thought Connie would come back. Think again. Does seeing me like this make you miss Connie at all? Well, you know, Connie will always have a place in my heart, even though she broke it into a million pieces. It must have been really hard waiting on that street corner. Never showed. Not the best day of my life. You wish you never met her? Well, I think she made the right choice. I mean, you know, she didn't really have a future. Kate did. Kate went to college. She, yeah. you know, worked her way up in a magazine. She became the woman she wanted to be, and that's why we're together right now. But I will say this. I loved Connie Falconeri, but I'm in love with Kate Howard. I think you need to leave.